So Nick, thanks for joining us. Uh, you head up our emergent team, which specializes in Amazon and marketplaces. We're, we're creating a report that's going to give brands lots of tips about how to prepare for Christmas on Amazon this year. Um, just very succinctly, without giving too much away, so people read the report, what are, their, what are your top tips for brands and how they can prepare effectively this Christmas on Amazon? Well, I think probably we notice this with every Q4 on Amazon. It's an extremely um, busy time. Some of the issues that we've had over, over the last couple of years are really around getting your stock um, into Amazon's warehouses. Um, we know that uh, over Q4, we always say that the time that it normally takes to replenish um, your stock will be double. And we know this year in the UK, it's likely to be longer than that. So get your stock in early um, towards October and also plan for your, your, your Q4 events. Uh, making sure your promotions are tied down. The Amazon um, Black Friday promotions will be uh, cut off um, in the second week of October. So getting all your deals in for, for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and all the way leading up to Christmas to the, the final um, delivery dates. I think those are probably the, the two core things to get sorted first. Um, beyond that, I'd say the, the next things would be to, to look at your product mix, understand what, what is trending on Amazon at the moment, what are, what are the top sellers, what are consumers actually looking for, uh, and make sure you prioritize your products that fit in um, to what consumers are looking for and supporting that through, through clever advertising and, and um, making your products as discoverable as, as possible. Some great advice there. And when, when we're talking to new clients and uh, prospects, what are the most common mistakes that you're finding when you're looking at their Amazon accounts? I think uh, a lot of our well, prospects and clients that we talk to try to manage um, Amazon um, in-house um, and using the Amazon platform. It's, uh, it's quite uh, labor intensive. Um, using some technology to help with optimization will definitely create efficiency. And that's probably one of the, one of the key things that we see. We've developed a lot of our own software that allows us to, to kind of do the, some of the smarter stuff and then uh, kind, of, kind of take the time away from um, the daily optimizations. Um, I think planning also for consumer trends. I know on Amazon is a, it's a bit of a fast track into understanding consumer trends. It changes all the time. And I'm um, being responsive to any changes across the categories that they operate in, looking at the search terms by frequency on Amazon, but also looking at who are the top sellers, how, how are those sellers changing over time? You know, what do their products have that, that they don't have? Or what are some of the features that we need to be talking about across those products to ensure that you know, the products are discoverable and um, they're also uh, converting the consumers that land on those pages. And of course, Amazon is so broad in terms of category. Is it true that it's so ultra competitive across all those categories or, or are there still opportunities for new rents and entrants into certain categories? Well, I think uh, on the competition, it, it depends throughout the times of the year, right? You know, when you look at Q4, we say, you know, consumer electronics, toys and games, beauty, any gift and category, we're very competitive. But throughout some of the other events, you'll see that different categories uh, may become uh, competitive, but you know, with Amazon, something like 80% of consumers that go into Amazon are there to discover new products, and 69% of those consumers, you know, don't search for the brand. So there's an opportunity for for brands that are gaining the platform to provide a best-in-class experience across their products. You know, they're creative, they're A plus, their brand stores to you know to compete with the, the established players across those categories. And I think it's true to say when you when you look at certain categories, the the big brands aren't always there at the top yeah. and you see a lot of challenger brands. How, how do they make that happen when you know there's so much brand awareness with some of those bigger brands but they're not featuring at the top of the ranking? We always find that some of the challenger brands are, are a lot more agile. They're able to kind of uh, understand what, what the Amazon consumer, it, who they are, it, what they're looking for in Amazon and they're able to move a lot faster. We know that you know, we work with a few challenger brands as well and you know we, we work with them to talk about you know, what are the products they should be launching, whether they're multi-packed or the specific features or you know ingredients in, in beauty products as well. So with these challenger brands they're able to do that a lot quicker than the established brands that may take a little bit longer to you know move through to approve budgets or, or to focus on you know, a different range that may be doing really well. Amazon's always releasing new products uh, for brands to take advantage of, new advertising features. What are the, some of the more interesting ones that have come out this year or in development at the moment that brands could think about? There have been loads. I, I know across all the advertising formats, uh, there's definitely been refinement to it. I, I don't think there's you know, a new format, for example, but for in sponsored brands, we have the video ads, which we're seeing uh, gets a huge amount of engagement across the clients we work with on video, on sponsored display. Um, Amazon's launched a, a lot of features around there, so you can actually advertise your products off Amazon, drive them back onto Amazon without having to go into their, their DSPs. 
Um, and more recently, they've launched Content Experiments, which allows brands to A-B test their hero images as well as their titles, which we're doing a lot more now. And especially leading up to Q4, we want to get that done early so we understand what is you know, the best performing image type, the best performing you know, headline type so that we can hit the ground running once, once November kicks in. Great. Well, there's some great tips and yeah. advice there, Nick. Thank you very much for sharing those with us. And get in touch with us if you want to know more, I guess, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you.